Hawaii, the Big Island. It truly is a big place with many locations hours apart and over 10 different climates, ranging from desert to tropical rainforest to alpine tundra. For birders, this means a lot of different habitats for look for birds, but long drives between all of them. So without further ado, here's my video on where to go birding when on vacation on this amazing island. So Hawaii has been invaded by birds from every part of the globe, and these make up most of what you'll see around human habitation. On the Hilo side, which is rainy, the best site I found was the Wailuku River State Park. This park in the heart of Hilo is home to a variety of birds from the house finch of North America, the saffron finch of South America, the yellow-fronted canary of Africa, and common minas from Asia. Also look out for spotted doves and zebra doves. You can also find helmeted guinea fowl and muscovy ducks here. On the other side of the island is Kona, which is drier. Many of the same birds can be seen around. On this side, Kaloko Hano Kahau National Historical Park is a good place to check out. Northern cardinals from the eastern United States hop around in palm trees. Yellow-billed cardinals fly through the trees. In the undergrowth, you may see gray francolins from Africa. Minas, zebra doves, and canaries can also all be found here. However, several ponds in the park and the rocky coast bring in water birds. Amakapa Fish Pond, just beyond the beach, is home to Hawaiian stilts, Hawaiian coots, and black crowned night herons. The introduced cattle egrets also fly around the pond, and there is a rookery near the harbor. In the rocky areas of the surf, sea turtles graze while up on the rocks, wandering tattlers and ruddy turnstones are looking for something to eat. Another good site by Kona is the Kia Lakehe wastewater treatment plant. While I was there, tiny least turns dove into the water as various shorebirds like stilts, ibis, and herons all stood around the murky waters. Further up north in the true desert, you can apparently find several introduced birds, like lovebirds and sandgrass, at the Waikola Town Athletic Field. I was unable to make it here, but it appears to be the best site to look for these two species. Now things get tougher, as chasing the Big Island's native and endemic forest birds mean you have to go into the interior, where temperatures drop. The native birds of Hawaii, especially the Hawaiian honeycreepers, are highly susceptible to avian malaria which is spread by introduced mosquitoes, which cannot survive in the cooler temperatures at higher elevation. Hawaiian honeycreepers are a unique group of finches that have been on the islands for the past several million years and have become quite distinctive, with some species not really looking like finches at all. The first site you need to go to is the Palila Discovery Trail, which is up a dirt road. On your way up, keep your eyes open for Eurasian skylarks, black francolins, and the native pulio owl. Don't forget to wash your shoes with bleach or alcohol before coming up here, and brush your shoes off to stop the spread of invasive plants. I only managed a glimpse of the palila as it flew above the trees. The palila is one of the last finch-type Hawaiian honeycreepers. It feeds primarily on mamane seeds, a native tree which makes up the dry forest habitat, and the Discovery Trail winds through a fence section of mamane forest. The palila should be within the first hundred yards of the trail. Also along the trail, you can see Hawaiian elapeo, an old world flycatcher, and the common amakihi, a generalist honeycreeper and one of the few species that seems to be building resistance to avian malaria. Continuing into the interior of the island, the remaining native species are found in the wet forest at high elevations. The best place to see them is in Hakalau Forest National Wildlife Refuge, which is closed to the public as a devastating disease is wiping out the native ohia trees, which is an important part of Hawaii's natural rainforest canopy. You can, however, pay to go on birding tours of Hakalau with birding guides. I went with Jack Jeffrey, who was the refuge's biologist for many years. On the way out, a couple of non-native pheasants and the Urkel's Franklin live in the man-made gorse grasslands. Eventually, we reached Hakalau Forest. In the forest, I saw the holy grail of Big Island birding, Yaki Poalau. It has a crazy bill with a long curved top bill and a short, sturdy bottom bill. It fills the woodpecker niche, eating beetle larvae that live under the bark of the other primary forest tree, Koa. I saw the rest of the native birds here, Hawaiian Akepa, a little orange crossbill bird, the Hawaii Creeper, a finch that acts a little bit like a nuthatch, more Amakihi, 
a flyover of Apopane, and my personal favorite honey creeper, the EEV, which is a nectar feeder. Besides the honey creepers, I saw more Hawaii Elapeo and the Oma'o, an endemic thrush which makes up a variety of calls, including one that sounds like a police whistle. Some non native species fly around the forest, like the red billed Beothrix, which is a colorful Asian bird. When looking for these native birds, besides in Hakalau, you can try the Pu'u'o'o Trail, which leads through a kipuku, or a remnant forest left behind by a lava flow. I didn't get a chance to hike through it, but I have heard it is pretty good, but some of the rare birds are much harder to see here. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to birding on the Big Island. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching, and good luck to you.